So, if you don't already know, I'm a game developer. And I've developed one game in the past called Press Pursuit. And I want to develop, you know, a whole game studio and a game company. And to do that, I need to create more than one game. So I'm going to start development on my second game ever. Now, my first game, Purse Pursuit, which is a game where you're playing as a thief who steals money from people on the street. I released it um, sometime in May and it didn't do amazingly well, um, mainly because I didn't do any marketing for it because I don't have much money for that. Um, but hopefully, you know, eventually, you know, YouTube can kick off sometime and then I can um, I can use some of that ad revenue to, you know, put into my social media marketing. But anyways, that to the side, let me let me tell you about this new game I'm starting to develop. Uh, I don't got a name for it yet, but it's an FPS shooter. It's going to be available on three devices. It's going to be available on Android, iOS and PC. And I'm going to take some time and yeah, develop an FPS game. It's a bit different than the previous game I've made and I've never developed an FPS game before. But I'm going into this project, um, you know, head first and I'm going to develop an FPS game. So the idea for the game is player wakes up in a remote island and they're in a wooden house. You start with a laser pistol and eventually meteorites are going to come from the sky. They give extra points to upgrade the laser pistol to make it a more powerful gun later on. The enemies will come from underwater in waves and little enemies are going to spawn from the meteorites as well to make getting the material to upgrade your weapons a lot more difficult. So once a player um, gets enough points from the meteorites to upgrade their gun, they're going to have to go back to the wooden house. And that's where they're going to, you know, be given their workbench and they can upgrade the gun. But upgrading the gun is going to unlock a boss battle where they're going to have to defeat a giant enemy, which is way harder than the regular enemies that come in the waves. So once the boss is finally defeated, the player will get a chance to upgrade their gun and the enemies will get a lot stronger though as a result of that. And the process will be repeated until the player reaches the final gun. So now let's get into development. So to create the game, I first opened up Unity. And then I renamed the file to Futuristic Survival Shooter. And there we go. Now I'm going to get started on creating this game. So to begin, I added a ground floor. This is going to act as the makeshift island. And then I added this bean. And this bean is going to act as the player as well. And then I just put a camera above it and I added some code so that the player can, you know, move around and everything. So now there's a first person view with the character moving around. Then I added a second bean, which is going to act as the enemy. And then I just added materials to both of the beans. So this one is going to be the player and this one is going to be the enemy. So the enemy is red, like most games. So the next thing I did was I had to make a gun. So the gun, basically, I used a cube and made it long. <laughs> and this is going to be the gun for now. So this is what the player is going to use to shoot the enemies. So now I can move around, but as you can clearly see, this gun is going through the beam. That's not what I want. I don't want the gun going through the enemy. So in order to fix that, I went to a tutorial to learn how to fix that. And I basically just watched this and now it's not clipping through the enemy as they call it clipping. So now if you look at the enemies, we can see that they're just standing there menacingly, but they don't follow the player at all. So I had to slap a brain onto them and now they follow the player wherever they go. Whenever the enemy touches the player, the game ends and this end screen, you know, comes. So now I have enemy and a gun to shoot, but the gun does not work. So I have to fix that. So I'm going to add some bullets into the gun with some code. And I also added a crosshair so the player can aim. And now if the player shoots at the enemy four times, the enemy dies. So now I just have all these boxes and these beans. I wanted the, you know, the game to have a little bit of character. So I went ahead and opened up Blender and that's why I started modeling an island. So yeah, here's the island that I modeled and now I just added it to the game. So next I changed the sky box, like the sky. So it looks like nighttime and I downloaded a water material online and I added that as well. So now we have a water island and the sky looks like night. So that's perfect. So. Now, as you can see, there are no mobile buttons because I've been playing the game with my computer this whole time. 
And in order to make the game mobile, I have to add some mobile controls. So I downloaded this joystick pack online as well. And I added some buttons and now the player can move around and shoot and look around using their phone. So now I'm going to model a gun because I don't want to be shooting out of a box anymore. So first I went into Google and I searched for a reference image for a gun. And then I added that reference image into Blender and I just traced it and added some color and voila, now we have a gun. I just added it into Unity and added a little bit of muzzle flash and that looks super epic. So the last thing I wanted to add was a proper crosshair because this little dot here, it ain't it. So I got rid of the dot, added a proper crosshair which I found online as well. And now we have a full FPS shooter that we can play on the phone. Well, it's all completely done. I have a lot more work to do. And if you want to see all the more work that I do, make sure to smash that subscribe button down there. And yeah, don't forget to yeah. like the video if you enjoyed it and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video. And I'm going to see you in the next one.